The Murray-Darling Basin is nourished by two rivers, the Murray and the Darling and their, main, and their many streams. It is Australia's greatest substantial river system and is 14% of Australia's continent. This means it is vital to the irrigation of crops, watering of livestock and supply of hundreds of towns, drinking and washing water in four states, Victoria, New South Wales, South Australia and Queensland. It supplies irrigation to 53% of cereals grown for grain, 95% of oranges, 54% apples and 62% of pigs. In 1915, the River Murray Water Agreement was signed putting out simple conditions. It helped support rising of agricultural crops, preservation of landscapes and vegetation of unstable soils in dehydrated areas and throughout periods of scarce rainfall. The expansion of water resources in Australia has been built on a figure of objectives. The complete consumption of vacant natural resources, transport and shipping, increasing food production promoting and promoting rural development. However, irrigation does not come without consequences, raising much controversy. The main concerns of river water irrigation are water over extraction, water impoundments, expansion of incorrect land and needless cleaning of land. Over usage and weak irrigation practices have led to more salt content in soil, thus reducing the effectiveness of the land. The growth and increase of agriculture made possible by irrigation has the latent for causing increased erosion, pollution of surface water and groundwater from agricultural biocides, deterioration of water quality, increased nutrient levels in the irrigation and drainage water resulting in algal blooms, proliferation of aquatic needs, and eutrophication in irrigation canals and downstream waterways. The soil quality has also been declining. Native vegetation is being cleared to create more farmland. Macquarie marshes are being lost because of over extraction of water for farmers. Such consequences have had detrimental effects on the environment. So what is being done? As a result, newer methods are being practiced to provide solutions to these problems. By implementing actions to restore the river and enhancing current irrigation systems, the Murray-Darling River can be restored and become well placed to provide for the growing world population. Thank you.